Now let's turn once more to Storm Watch 12 Chief Meteorologist Matt Hoffman to get our conditions. It was quite a uh, gloomy fall day, I'd say today. Yeah, a lot of clouds today that really kept those temperatures down. Still seeing quite a bit of cloud cover out there tonight. Skies generally mostly cloudy across Southern Oregon and Northern California. Take a look at temperatures this hour. 48 degrees in Medford. It's 43 in Klamath Falls. We're in the 30s though as you head into Lake County. Also up in Chamalt nearly at freezing right now. It's 47 in Montague and 47 degrees in Brookings. Tomorrow on the coast, there is going to be the slight chance for a shower, but uh, they're not going to see much in the way of precipitation along the coast. Temperatures will be in the upper 50s to around 60 for highs. Northern California, the chance for some rain developing as we go towards mid to late morning. Very cool temperatures, 56 only in Wairika, only up to 49 in Doris and 57 in Mount Shasta. Winds will pick up a bit as this cold front swings through. For the basin, the east side, really we have the best chance at seeing rain and higher elevation snow with the system swing through tomorrow. Temperatures will be rather chilly, actually also falling as the afternoon progresses as that colder air rushes in. Up into the mountains, we will have the potential for some rain and higher elevation snow. Most of the snow accumulation going to be above about 5,000 feet. And then in the Rogue Valley, the potential of at least a period of rainfall as we go through about the late morning into the midday hours and then will dry out later in the afternoon with sunshine breaking out. Here's uh, your Rogue Valley planner in the Medford area. Best chances for some shower activity later in the morning. Not going to add up to all that much, mainly less than a tenth of an inch for folks that do see rain in the Rogue Valley tomorrow, but then we'll see those clouds decreasing, clearing out for tomorrow night, and that's going to set us up for a very cold one to start off your Thursday. Here's a look at Stormcast when it comes to rainfall amounts. Notice all in all fairly light totals. Most spots less than a tenth of an inch along and east of the Cascades. We may see some pockets of uh, seeing areas above a tenth of an inch to up to a quarter of an inch. But all in all fairly light precipitation amounts when it comes to snowfall in those higher elevations. Uh, higher passes, maybe seeing a dusting up to an inch. As you get towards the Warner Mountains, we have a better shot, maybe a quick one to two inches. But all in all, it's not going to be that much. Uh, no major travel impacts expected with this system. It's going to be a quick mover. Here's Stormcast showing that development of the rain and higher elevation snow. We'll have to see exactly where this all sets up, but as we go through the afternoon, notice it does move out from west to east, and then we're going to clear things out for tomorrow night, setting us up for a very cold start to Thursday. Frosty as well, even in our west side valleys, and then just mostly sunny skies for Thursday. Temperatures will make a nice rebound, though, uh, despite that colder start on Thursday. A freeze watch in place for all of our west side valleys and the Mount Shasta area. 2 a.m. to 10 a.m. Thursday. Be sure to cover those sensitive plants. We bump back up into the 60s, though, in the Rogue Valley on Thursday, and then 70s in the forecast for Friday. We'll also see a warming trend in the basin, but a very cold morning on Thursday, likely getting down into the teens. And then taking a look at your weekend, it does look soggy along the coast. A more potent storm system will likely spread more widespread rain into the region on Sunday. Temperatures will, will start cooling down and snow levels will be lowering Sunday into Sunday night and more wet weather is expected into early next week. So a very active stretch of weather uh, right around the corner, but we will get a slight chance for a shower for the coast tomorrow, but better chances at rain this weekend. It looks rather soggy. Northern California, the chance for some shower activity for your Wednesday. Temperatures bump back up into the 70s by Friday. The basin, rain and snow likely, breezy winds, chilly temperatures back into the 60s Friday and Saturday. Up in the mountains, we'll see rain and snow on your Wednesday and then more wet and eventually wintry weather moving back in through the weekend into early next week. And then in the Rogue Valley, the chance for rain, cool temperatures tomorrow, but we warm things up into the 70s on Friday and Saturday and then trending wetter and cooler as we head into the start of next week.